Hey everyone, welcome back to the Neuro Channel, where we explore the latest and greatest in handheld PCs. Today, I'm diving deep into something that's completely transformed my ROG ally, Bazai. Now, before we get into it, did you know that 98% of you guys aren't subscribed? I know it's a cringy tagline, but I want to hit the thousand subscribers by the end of the year. It helps me out to reach that goal. Let's get started. If you've used the ROG Ally, you know it's a beast of a handheld PC, but there are a few glaring issues. And one of them is Windows 11. It's clunky, it's resource hungry, and let's be real, it just doesn't belong on a handheld, even with Armory Crate, which is supposed to make things easier. Navigating it with the built-in controller just feels bad. Joy to mouse controls are inconsistent, random pop-ups, break the immersion, and don't get me even started on the forced updates. That's where Bezite comes in. I'd heard about this Linux distro being purpose-built for gaming handhelds, so I thought, why not give it a shot? The installation process was stupidly simple, and I'm saying that as someone who is not really a Linux pro. All you need is a USB drive, the Bezite ISO, you can download it from their site, and a flashing tool like Rufus. Once you boot into the USB, just follow the steps and you're good to go. My first impression of Bezite feels smooth and intentional. The interface is designed with gaming in mind. No unnecessarily clutter, no weird Windows-like quirks when you're in gaming mode. Everything just works. Basically a copy of SteamOS. Switching it to desktop mode, it's straightforward and the same as on SteamOS. Though I still recommend connecting a keyboard and mouse for serious desktop use. GNOME has a touch-friendly UI, but honestly, for productivity tasks, I prefer the precision of a proper mouse. Now let's talk about the real test, gaming performance. I threw a bunch of games at Bazite, starting with Horizon Zero Dawn, which is a Steam Deck verified game. It ran flawless, and thanks to Bazite's dynamic VRAM allocation, it was smoother than on Windows. Here's the thing, on Windows you set a fixed VRAM limit in the BIOS, but Bazite adjusts it dynamically, based on your needs. You will feel the difference in demanding games like Horizon Zero Dawn. That said, some online games like Fortnite just won't work because of anti-cheat. It's not Bazite's fault. It's an issue with how many developers implement anti-cheat for Linux systems. But for most games, Proton, which comes pre-installed, bridges the gap beautifully. And if you're not sure whether your game will work, check out ProtonDB. It's an absolute lifesaver. It's a website listed all the games and telling you if it should work or it won't work and if you need to tinker, what you'll need to do. Let me tell you why Bazite blows windows out of the water for handheld gaming. Bazite uses way fewer resources. Unlike Windows, you don't need to constantly jump into desktop mode. Everything is streamlined, just like on the Steam Deck. Now, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. The biggest downside is, well, the anti-cheat. Some games just won't work. And even if they do, there's no guarantee that they'll keep working after an update. For example, the finals recently broke after an update, but the Proton devs had a beta fix ready in hours. Shout out to those legends. And other minor annoyance, even after selecting the ROG Ally during setup, Bazite still shows Steam Deck specific features, like references to the trackpads that the Ally doesn't have. It's not a deal breaker, but it's something to be aware of. If you're planning to install Bazite, here are a few tips. The admin password you'll need is Bazite, all lowercase. You'll need to, to install programs, you'll need to, to download updates, and if you haven't changed it in the setup process, it will be Bazite, all lowercase. Another tip that I would give you is always to check ProtonDB if your favorite games are supported. My last tip is expect to tinker a little bit if you play a lot of games labeled as playable instead of verified. But hey, it's still way easier than dealing with Windows desktop on such a small screen. So, final thoughts. Will I keep Bazite on my ROG Ally? Absolutely. It makes the device feel like a true handheld gaming console instead of just a mini PC. For Steam Deck verified games, it's fantastic. For everything else, there's Proton. And while you might need to tinker occasionally, it's less frustrating than Windows. If you're into handheld PCs, love modding, or just want an OS that's lighter, faster, and sometimes even more gamer friendly than Windows, Bazite is worth a try. I thank you all for watching. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We're close to hitting 600 subscribers and I want to end this year with 1000 and your support means everything. Drop a comment down below if you're planning to try Bazite or if you have any questions. 
And as always, I see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.